There is a truth about surfing. For me, the experience of surfing and, and what I feel out there is real. It's not fake, there's, there's no way to fake it. You know, it's, it's living life in the moment. And for the vet coming back, you know, the, the ability sometimes to find that truth or to, to be able to discover that again, it, it's really difficult when you have a brain injury or PTSD, there's a lot of things in the way of, of getting to that. You know, something happens in combat, whether it happens directly to you or you witness something, you know, nobody comes back the same. And those changes can have long lasting effects on how we reintegrate into our communities. Communities do not look the same. We think surfing offers a sense of community. <laughs> So this year we have a lot of guys that have surfed in their past and have joined the military and have lost that ability due to loss of limb or loss of balance. And so it's nice to see them like grasp something from their childhood again and be like, you know, I remember how to do this. But then you get the guys that are first time out and they're W amputee and you know they got sight in only one eye and doctors have been telling them the entire time that they've been going through everything they've been going through that the things they can't do. And we come out here and say, you wanna go surf a wave? Let's do it. Chilling in the moment, happy with the way things are going, loving what you're doing. It's that initial thrill of, of movement, air, water, sun, and in this case, uh, wind and waves. It's very therapeutic. Like that energy of the wave when it pushes you down the wave, that's what I like. It's just like feeling like, you know, mother nature, like you're able to like take that energy, like that physical energy and like, you know, cruise, I don't know. <laughs> Makes me smile. <laughs> Going straight down and you're like, holy snaps, I'm on the face of a wave. And then you got your first turn and you're like, holy cow, this is intense. Like it takes the edge off and it wears you out. Like, and you can actually go to sleep without having to, to rely on the meds or something like that. It releases endorphins, so it's a, it's a very beneficial thing. You know, I like the, the, the feel of being in the water with the, with the board and actually being able to do things with it that I never thought I would ever be able to. Yeah, you want to tell it? We met at Wilson High School senior year um, in an oceanography class. So we did, you know, counting sets as seniors in high school together. We pretty yeah, much yeah. brought her up in the ocean too, so this is our thing. <laughs> we're ocean people and that's how we started, so. When I joined the Marine Corps, we are stationed out in the desert. So it kind of took us away from the ocean for quite a while and then I deployed. After I deployed, I came back kind of with PTSD and uh, some TBI and Kind of, kind of shut myself off from all the things that I used to do. And then um, got out for a little bit, and I think I did a little bit of surfing in between on um, the Marine Corps and the Army. And then wasn't doing too hot, so kind of gave up on it. And then I got in the Army. It was just kind of downhill. I got hurt, I got shot in the face, and then just a lot of rehabilitation. It kept me out of doing a lot of recreational therapy, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Rehabilitation part of it may end, but the reintegration journey of, you know, the journey of coming home and really feeling at home and what that means, you know, for a lot of guys is a lifelong, it's a lifelong journey. We know that there's something special about the ocean and our experience in the ocean, so we wanted to share that. And it's something that we need. It's, you know, sometimes it's our church. It's a safe place to go. Recreational therapy has definitely been a big deal for him as far as recovering from PTSD and just, you know, anxiety and everything. You know, you're able to just sit and analyze stuff that's going on in your life and, you know, put things in perspective. And I don't know, it's just good to be like one with nature. It takes you away from all the problems that you have.
military life is so structured and you know exactly what's coming and when it's coming. And with surfing and to a metaphor that's a civilian life, there's curveballs thrown at you all the time. Nothing in life is easy. You know, surfing isn't easy, but it's worth it. Life isn't easy, but it's worth it. It, it metaphors very well. Every minute counts for for us together. Cause we don't we didn't always have that. Like you know, he's been gone so much training and um, with the military that his second deployment he left on Taylor's like ninth birthday. ninth birthday yeah. or something, and that was that was pretty rough for the entire family. So now we just don't take it for granted at all. Like we just use every minute. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna go next week, <laughs> all yeah, week. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. we're gonna milk this summer before she starts school and just <laughs> go out to the beach. And I think my goal now is like when I drop her off for school in the morning, just head over to the beach, do a morning surf session for like an hour, come back home. Yeah, or maybe do an evening session with the whole family. Yeah, definitely want to keep it up because we love the ocean, and then if we can all get out there together and enjoy activity together, it's good. And then how about you? Did you get to surf this weekend at all? Yeah. I a little bit. Yeah? Did you like it? Yeah. Cool. What are you used to in Georgia? It's no waves at all. It's <laughs> lumpy waves of water. As a society, the collective we, you know, I think we owe these guys a debt that we'll have a hard time repaying. We can do everything right and we're still gonna have a hard time repaying this debt. And, you know, because they went to fight on, on our behalf, on your behalf. You know, a couple of dollars here and there to help a program like ours do what we do or to all these organizations that um, are sort of continuing, picking up where the VA left off, hopefully achieve that mission as, as long as we can. I would say probably the best moment would, would, would just be out there like like early in the morning and, and just the overall energy and the experience. You know, everyone's here to enjoy themselves. Well, besides being in the water, you know, it's uh, meeting all these uh, friendly people here working with us, helping us. You know, and I'm, I'm not really a people person, to be honest, you know. But here, everybody's like very friendly. They can actually you know, connect with us and I really like that. Bonding with everyone and hearing their experience. Oh, we just totally clicked with like experiences and feelings and a sense of like positive encouragement. Thank you. Yeah, like we're super grateful to have yeah. this um, This is an awesome opportunity. Yeah. We hope to be back next year. The Hawaiian <laughs> food was primo. Like that stuff was amazing. All the food was good. It, it kind of surpassed any expectation.